Hello everybody, Thunder here, and this is the review for Kikai Sentai Zenkaiger versus Kira Major versus Senpaiger. Warning, this video may contain spoilers for the movie, Zenkaiger, Kira Major, and Sentai in general. So, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. I, I am not really a big fan of... Um, recent crossover movies. I think that they have been really um, formulaic in a sense. They have always this same formula of like splitting all the characters into tiny groups and then having both reds be together. First they're against each other and then they're friends and then and also there's this bad guy that that's trying to make this plan and then they end up uh, outsmarting the villain and final battle in the, in the toy mine thing and then that's it. Another thing that I don't like normally is how lopsided most of these movies are. They tend to, the story tends to be a little bit more towards the newer Sentai than the older Sentai. Even though most of the appeal is to see the older Sentai back. Um, but this, again, this movie is also different. So uh, I really enjoyed it. I, I thought that it was hilarious. Um, I was laughing the entire way through. The story being balanced between both shows this is a super balanced movie you have elements from kira major you have elements from zenkaiger and they cross over really well they fit really well so uh props to the writers to actually make a story that not only it involves both series but also involves all the characters from these series instead of just focusing on the reds so the story of the movie is basically this mad doctor from uh the foxtopia that wants to gather all four kanaima stones to basically reshape the world as he envisions he kind of gets support of some people from chikatopia so it's an excuse to have the grunts back um and uh he also has a he also creates a wardo a fake wardo which is the barbecue uh wardo and it leads to the characters uh, spending a lot of time eating barbecue, uh, eating yakiniku, and it's very funny because every time they finish uh, the yakiniku, it goes. The, there's more yakiniku that shows up. So, like I said before, one of the things that I don't really like about these uh, Sentai crossovers is that they divide the team, like the teams, into separate teams. This time, everybody's together. Uh, all five Kina Major and fi all five Zenkaiger, they're all together. Uh, they're sent into this this yakiniku world and then uh, basically if they finish all the yakiniku then uh, they can leave however uh, every time they finish there's more meat that appears but obviously like in full zenkaiger fashion there are hijinks and the characters use the sentai powers in a very funny way they start just summoning sentais like <laughs> They bring uh, the yellow one from um, Go Ranger, and he comes twice to have the Akiniku, and then uh, the, the second time he has a little plaque saying like, "Oh, it's my second time." Uh, so yeah, he's, they summon all like a bunch of yellow rangers uh, with the with the Zenyaku Zenkai cannon. They summon the Deca Rangers for some reason. Uh, yeah, it's great. Finally, they ended up defeating the villain with um, the Go Ranger Hurricane, and uh, they summon. <laughs> They summon uh, a famous uh, idol professional eater to eat, to eat all of the things. And while she's doing it, everyone's like, ooh, ooh. Uh, this film is so silly. Uh, I like that they use like the silliness from Zenkaiger to, to just have fun with it. In outside world, uh, we have that uh, Mabushina was actually kidnapped. Um, she, she, she even mentions that she often gets kidnapped, which I liked very much and then Stacy also gets kid kidnapped because uh, there is this new um, successor to Bokuausu that, that kind of takes over uh, that's a very funny plot because you think that he's the main bad guy he's even like he doesn't he even has like the the more intricate new costume and everything but he ends up just being a wimp uh, he doesn't get defeated at the end uh, he just uh, cries because he got tricked by the the doctor character which is just a guy with a with a fox mask Stacy kind of forgives him and then we have Takamichi with uh, with Kaidi because Kaidi decides also Kaidi kind of steals one of the Kanaima stones Takamichi and, and, and Kaidi kind of work together in the same vein um, Marvelous starts looking out for this 
gold Sentai Ranger, which is basically the font service that we wanted to see. And yes, we do see it. Sue Kaiser, Gokai Red fight, which it's, it's nice. It is a little bit on the short side. There's no Gokai changes. None of that happens. But it was really cool to see both of them fight. Um, and at the end, they're, they're actually really cool with each other. They actually start liking each other. Um, but once ev all of this is together, uh, they kind of meet up at the Toei Construction Yard. And then there's the final battle. In, in perfect Zenkaiger fashion, you would think that because it's a crossover, they're going to do like their proper uh, roll call. No, they actually do a yakiniku related roll call and that also bleeds over to the kira major side they also do a yakiniku related roll call which <laughs> i wasn't expecting because once the main five uh zenkaiger finish their roll call then Kaiser and stay caesar they do their regular roll calls but then we go to the kira major side and they're also talking about <laughs> yakiniku so that was pretty funny one of the things I found really interesting is that uh, they, we, obviously in these movies, when the final battle happens, they, they probably normally put like same colored people together. So blue fights with blue and then green fights with green. And obviously Kaito has to fight with Juru. So Judan ends up in the green side. He's actually fighting with Senna. So I guess Judan is our official Green Ranger. Um, interesting. I like that. Uh, there was no go there was no uh, Don Brothers cameo on this movie, but the same Pyger appear, and we have uh, <laughs> Se Chung basically dying because he's so excited that he doesn't even say anything. He just starts screaming, and uh, it ends up with with a really cool roll call. Uh, they use clips of each show, so. It's the original voices uh, when they're doing the roll calls, but we have a roll call from Gokaiger until uh, Ryu Soja, which is really cool. Um, so, but after that, there's no other extra cameos. It's only uh, Marvelous and Kaidi that are there physically. They didn't do like Superhero Tyson where they brought uh, Arata just for the voice. Uh, so it's, it's really just uh, those two characters that are back. The senpai only has like a little fight where they're all doing their final attacks. They're not really doing their final attacks. They're just like attacking with the sound, the, the sound effect of their final attack. Um, but at the end of the day, it's a movie about both uh, Zenkaiger and, and Kira Major. And I feel like they, they play the best moments of both shows. Uh, there's a moment where um, Kirame Blue, uh, when they're in the Yakiniku, they already had two rounds of Yakiniku. And then he decides, like, I'm going to do my actor face. I'm going to start interpreting as I am hungry. I'm going to use my actor power to, to win this. And then, like, he starts eating. But then the, the monster decides to penal penalty him for it. So they put like that little brace that squeezes his head that appeared twice in the show, um, which apparently, apparently is a meme from, from uh, Kina Major now. But uh, that was really funny to see happen. But yeah, no, there's these, these tiny moments that are so good, so funny. They're, the dialogue is hilarious. We were all laughing in the theater. Um, and um, yeah, it's, it's lighthearted fun is what you would expect with Zenkaiger meeting um, a little bit more serious team. You're there to have, it's movies an hour long. So you're, you're there just to like have a good time, have a, a lot of laughs, see cool things like uh, Tsukaiser and Gokai, Gokai Red kind of like fighting and interacting. Uh, so it's, it's kind of nice to have these little moments and, and these little like interactions. I really enjoyed it. Um, I would say in my uh, should you watch it scale, it is a hell yeah. You should definitely go see this movie if you're into both shows. If you go see it, uh, you also get this. You get this calendar poster. My back is, it is backwards. Uh, on top we have the movie with all the Sempiger right there. All the, the Rangers and the Sempiger. And in the bottom we have the Dom Brothers and now with a little bit of a spoiler with the robot uh, at the corner there. But the Dom Brothers are not in this movie by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. That's it. That was my review of Kikai Sentai Zenkaiger versus Kira Major versus Senpai. If you like the, if you watch the movie or if you have any questions, let me know what you thought below. 
And uh, if you like this kind of reviews, uh, there are a couple others in the There is Shin Ultraman coming next month, so I'll be going to see and also making a review of that. So I'm very excited. Uh, it's exciting times to be a Toku fan. And uh, yeah, I see you guys in the next video.